Hi, this is Chris. This is the fourth video in my series of how I make my loose leaf junk journal binder. And I've decided to make it into a recipe binder. If you missed it in the first videos, I showed how I cut the cardboard to the right size and covered it with an Amazon bag. Then I showed how I installed the mechanism and I showed how I covered it on the inside with um, a scan of a jelly print that I made and I made some pages to use. And so now in this part, um, this will be the last part because this is an ongoing project that I'll be working on for a while as I put in my recipes. I am going to put a title here, Recipes. So at some point I may do um, a flip through down the road as I uh, get more recipes in it and stuff, but today I'm going to make some dividers. I have this folder where I collected some cardstock. This is a template, so I picked up this will fit. This is the back of a writing tablet. I have these um, pieces here. That one's a little shy, but it could work. Here's some lighter weight cardstock. These two are both quite heavy from the back of tablets. Another piece of that. I've got this piece here that I started. Slightly shy. That will make a good divider. And this one, I started it, but it came out shy. But I think I can still use it. If I put a tab on it, it won't make any difference. It's a little bit tall. to use my tab punch and I pulled out some papers from my scrap bin. These are too thin. But what I can do with these is I can fold them. So I can fold them If I put it in here with the fold just under, just under there, so I can see the fold, it won't cut it, and then I have a folded tab, which will be stronger. can decorate these and put on a tab and have them ready for my book. I got out my digitals. If you're interested on how I store my digitals, this is a screenshot of the files in my computer. I have the name of the digital shop and then I have what the digital is about. Christmas, fall, jelly prints, sewing, woodland Christmas, steampunk, gift tags, more sewing. And then I got these folders on Amazon and 
anything I print out. I don't print out the whole kit when I get it. I print out what I need, what I think I'll need for a project. And I put them in this one of these folders. I can easily see what kit it is. It has the name here. And then if I have bits and pieces, I can stick them in this little CD slot. I have a little envelope, and if I fussy cut stuff, I can put them in the envelope and keep them right with the digi kit. Uh, I have Artie Mays, some old fashioned recipe items, kitchen items. And I have Allegra Digital. I only printed out this one. It has, um, I printed it out smaller. It actually fills up the whole page, the digital. But I printed it out smaller for some little spot illustrations. It has some uh, product packaging. And Atomo Prints Kitchen Recipe Digital. This has some nice um, pictures of bread. Some vintage kitchen images. I printed this one on 20 pound paper and I printed this one on 28 pound paper. I printed out this page of vegetables and I tried different sizes. I thought it would make um, a good divider too. I could use this for uh, vegetables recipes. And those Go back in there for now. And uh, my porch prints. This is the cover that I used. This part, and I cut that out and um, put it on a window envelope so it has its own little window. And there's the little girl that I cut out. This comes from the um, Allegra Digital packaging, as well as these. So, and then it has recipe cards. These are some other prints of hers, a different digital kit. So, I want to start with this and check out something.
I'm going to finish this up and then I'm going to um, do a couple of more off camera and I'll come back and share them with you. Be right back. So here's the front cover with the little recipes. I'm not sure if I'll use that for anything else or not right now. And the back cover with a little illustration on it. Try to get it without reflections. And so inside we have um, a window envelope pocket and inside here if I see something in a magazine that I might like to try I can stick it in there right away. And here is the first divider I made and this section will be for recipes that I want to try. And this little layered pocket is from the My Porch Prints um, digital. And so recipes I want to try, I can stick in these little folders. The next one I will probably use for recipes I have tried but I'm not sure if I want to try them again but I want to hang on to them. We'll see. Like I said, this is very flexible. I put this um, little image on here, another em uh, window envelope. This one I put the magazine picture on there. And then back here I have um, a large envelope which I cut the corners because it's so long that it would interfere with the mechanism and I trimmed a little bit off because it was too wide and then I just glued the end although I doubt anything would fall in. So I can um, put recipes in there also and then I can start here and do um, recipes that are keepers and then I can make some more uh, dividers and I can use these pages that I put in in the first video and use them to uh, put my favorite recipes, ones that I like to refer to several times a year. So one of, one of those recipes that I really love is um, West African Sweet Potato Soup. I got this from the drfurman.com website and although I change it up a little bit, I do make the basic recipe and I really love this recipe. So this would be an example of a recipe that I would um, put in here permanently because I really like this recipe. And I did include this recipe on my previous video, part two, or maybe it was part one, but I can include it again because it's, it's really a good recipe. So I have all these different pages that um, I put in before that I can put recipes on. And I have some pockets. So here's a pocket if I have a recipe card that I don't want to rewrite it or want to rewrite it later. Here's an envelope. It opens up like that. Some atlas, some more um, pages from an old recipe book. Here's an envelope with uh, a window in it. Also opens on the top. Here's a nice piece of uh, heavy paper. That's a, I think that's a 28 pound paper. Tea dye digital. Some more recipe pages. Index with um, another pocket and another uh, piece that I could use as a divider and my template. I could put another pocket here too. Let's see, I stick this in here. So that's my uh, loose leaf junk journal recipe binder. And it's a work in progress and I will keep working on it. Now I will have fun saving my recipes and 
putting them in here so that I can refer to them when I need to. So thanks for watching and have a great day creating or cooking whatever you plan to do today. Thank you! Bye bye!